name is? My name is Terry. I come oh, from Terry. Belgium. Terry? Terry. Terry. It's a French name. It's pronounced Thierry. 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 It's a French name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to learn. Larry. Or easy. Or easy. Well, tell us a little bit about what, how you felt about the film, what you saw. Yes, excuse me, but I don't speak very well English. My uh, mother language is French. Yeah. But I'm very impressive because, uh, you know, in your movies, you don't speak about uh, the black people fight for us, for Europe, for the freedom in Europe in uh, the Second World War. We don't know that. We, we saw on the movies, on the propaganda, American propaganda, all time white people. White and, America. But so there's no black No, but we know we know after the war there is a, a lot of segregation here in America. And it's incredible for me what I see on this movie because I don't understand why why there is a segregation. And the, the black people give the blood for America too. But I, that is I'm very impressive. Very impressive. No, no. <laughs> but it was very emotional to, to know all about this uh, and all those hidden things that we never heard in Europe. Of course, American people, they fight for us, but not only white people, also black people. And it's high time to know that and to dis uh, distribute all these stories everywhere in the world. Well, we want to thank you both for coming to see our film. And <laughs> thank so you. Maybe you, you'll see me there. <laughs> you know, because you know, I'm a filmmaker. Who yes, knows? My why not? Come and then you go, wait a minute, we got this guy in video. You know, you know. So thank you both. Very, thank very you. much. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you for visiting our country. First of all, uh, I'm here with uh, Joe Richardson, yeah, yeah. Uh, who just saw the uh, the film, and uh, we were outside talking. And he told us a beautiful story, and I'd like for you to actually repeat that for us, if you wouldn't mind, sir. Okay. Uh, what I told him was, uh, in the late '40s, I was in a neighborhood club called the B29 Bombers, and the club was sponsored by a Air Force Army pilot who was a captain. And we had roughly about 12 or 14 kids in the program. They were all black kids. And the, the sponsor had us to have do certain activities in a certain time frame. And the one who was, quote, the best was the one who then got to be a co-pilot in this Piper Cub. And as wow. it turns out, I was one of those kids one time and flew, uh, flew in the Piper Club. And I was sitting in the co-pilot seat, couldn't reach the rudder. Uh, <laughs> But, and that's the thing actually that made me think, I don't think I want to be a pilot because when I turned to the right where I was sitting, I looked down and I could see the ground and it scared the devil out of me. But <laughs> Been there. It, yes. <laughs> so the thing though that I wanted to say was after, uh, after that experience, uh, when I was graduating from high school, I went to Kansas City, I lived in Kansas City, Missouri, and had a segregated school and I went to the counselor and said I wanted to be a uh, I want to go to college and the council looked at me and said no your people can't go to college and uh, when I thought about that I thought about the fact of the club that I was in in terms of the sponsor for our club who was a captain in the Army Air Force and I said I don't think I know how to be anything else but he was a pilot and since he was a pilot I said I could be an officer in the military and that was the thing that motivated me to go on to become, uh, to go to college. And as it turns out, uh, I got a commission uh, as a second lieutenant uh, in the Army. And uh, I stayed, I stayed. 
that you know. I, I stayed in the Army four years. Uh, went to Vietnam and uh, I achieved the rank of captain and I decided I wanted to, to get out. But throughout that time frame, I've always been very appreciative of the person who was a sponsor of our club. But interestingly enough, I never knew he was a Tuskegee Airman until many years after that because no one talked about yeah. Tuskegee Airmen. And no one, and he didn't go around saying, I'm a Tuskegee Airman, you know, at that particular time. Yeah. So when I discovered that, I became very, very grateful. And I'm grateful today because of the motivation that I received from him. And I am today where I am career-wise and attitude-wise because of the motivation that I received. So you time. did rise above. I certainly did. That's great, sir. Thank you for sharing your story with us. You, okay. Mr. Richardson, okay. I want to shake your hand, too. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you so much for joining us today. I certainly would not have missed this. Thank you, sir. Okay. You drive the exhibit around, uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's, it's just something we do. I mean, uh, we've been doing this now. It's, it's, it's uh, going into the fourth year of operation. We travel the United States. We travel 42 weeks out of the year. We're in a different location every week. Wow. Uh, I mean, sometimes it'll be in the same state. Sometimes it'll be in another state. But 42 weeks out of the year, we're in a different location. Uh, it's quite interesting. We get to meet a lot of the original airmen that are still alive. Um, and we get to see a lot of, um, a lot of interesting, um, interesting people. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that you have, you know, a few stories, but give us maybe your best story, shall we say. Well, I can't say there's any story that's best. I mean, it, it just, it's just amazing to get to talk to, to the airmen and to, yeah. the, to the different people that they actually protected. I mean, uh, there was an instance in Pittsburgh one day where an old guy comes up, he's, he comes up on a walker and he said, you know, he said, back in the day, he said, I was, I was one of the pilots of one of the old B-17s, and he said, these guys escorted us and he said you know back in the day he said he said there was a different atmosphere a, a different feeling he said and and he said these guys saved our life and he said i never got to say thank you and, wow and he said you know he said today he said there's one here he said i'm gonna shake your hand that's <laughs> all right so you know you you hear that in different places you go uh you know you're gonna hear this story and each one of them has got something different you get to talk to the airmen and they're going to tell you a, a story that might be funny so you get a little bit of humor you know mm. so it, it's uh, it's just an amazing experience well I, the, the keyboard here is amazing because like <laughs> i said we've seen the i've seen the film and i learned so much just in that that short period of time you know and uh, i owe you know my family is actually from uh, uh the tuskegee area so right. you know so i'm i'm kind of like I need to find a little bit more out, yeah. you know, so being here was a part of that, trying yeah. to research things. And a, another thing that we do, you know, of course, is the school visits, now, yeah. trying to teach the kids, okay? You want the kids to understand there's more to life than the video games, there's more to life than, than what they've got in school. They have to understand a little bit about the past and how you can move forward. Uh, and these guys are some of the best examples, really, that people could go by. You know, when you when you look at the different things that we have, principles on a dog tag that we give these kids. Okay, yes. one of them is aim high. One of them is believe yourself. Then there is uh, never quit. Be ready to go. Expect to win. Use your brain. And use your brain. And you know, it's kind of we always tell them everybody's got one. Use that brain. You know. <laughs> But we do this, and, and the kids, you get different response. You get some that they may be, I don't know, kind of a downward looking in their life, and all of a sudden they've got some new direction which to look. Yes. Uh, it's example, aiming high. Oh, yes. An example for that in, in Phoenix, we went to a school there, and it was in a very bad neighborhood. I mean, we're talking about a, a it was a drug, drug neighborhood. They had a lot of houses boarded up on the mm -hmm. other side of the street. Uh, these kids come out, they would just shuffle their feet, they're looking down, they've got no direction in life, you know. And we're sitting between an airport, and we're sitting between an airport runway where they're coming in all the time, all day long. These kids, after they watch the program now, all of a sudden when they go out the door, you see them looking up, pointing and saying, what kind of airplane is that? Wow. They've got a new sense of direction in yeah. which to look up, you know, like we can do something different with our life. And that's, that's, that's a good experience. No, that is amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Terry. 
I want to thank you so very much for what you do. And I think you're, is your wife actually? Yes, my wife. Yeah, yeah she's running with me all the time. That's it's it. a two-person operation. Actually, we need more, but uh, we take what we can get. Well, <laughs> well, maybe we can work on that for there you. We get go. your there volunteers. We go. You know. All right. Thank you so much, thank Terry. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Hey, Terry, where's my dog tag? Yeah, mine too. Oh, well, the guys, now look, we do sell them to adults. Okay. And there's well, a reason for why we sell them to adults. We use the money to, we, we give all the kids at school these dog tags for free. We use the money that we get for them from the, from the adults, you see. And we have a lot of people say, I'm a, I'm a grown kid too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. But at the same time, in order to give them to the kids, it costs money for them. So therefore, we just transfer the money for those that can afford them for those that can't. And hopefully they'll get something out of it. Well, no, we'll we'll be more than happy to pay for ours because right, yeah, it's you. a good cause. Thank okay. you so much, Terry. All right.